never wanted to be a businessman. I never thought that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wouldn't even think of doing a retail business or being in fashion. I think in Australia, I spent a lot of time at the beaches, so I was always in my t-shirt and flip-flops. Coming back to Singapore and being thrown into a business of selling suits to men, you know, I had to try to think of how to convince someone like myself to actually dress up. As a guy, I feel like I need to be inspired or I need to be motivated. I think how I choose to do that really is to create interiors that are a bit more masculine, a bit more character, a bit more personality. Our very first store, which is in Marina Square, is a very clean looking store. It was like a candy store for men. Lah. After my first year, I was thinking, okay, maybe I didn't have to play safe. What actually would be something that I would be inspired to walk in and identify with, with the store? I unknowingly created a store that I actually like, that I think men and feel comfortable shopping. That would be different from every other cookie cutter stores. With my second store in Sydney Leisure, I personally designed a store according to how you know men would can relate to store with personality, with character. Branding is very important. My dad sold suits from a warehouse, right? This was his passion. And he had that like never give up kind of attitude. Because actually my dad's business is very small. It's almost like a one-man show. I was already quite trained, uh, you know, uh, since primary school going to the warehouse to help him every weekend, right? Freshly graduated from uni in Australia. I had many ideas. I had many, you know, different ways uh, of doing things, things that I wanted to change, but it was very difficult. So I told my mom that, you know, I couldn't continue this. I was making a cancel work, so I actually went back to Australia to do my master's. In Australia, on my birthday, he called to wish me. When he called me, he sounded pretty bad already. He actually said that he loved me, like, you know. A lot of things inside me broke down, right? A lot of walls that I built broke down that day, and because, you know, he was diagnosed with cancer and that's why I had to come back. So by the end of the week, I actually packed up and left Australia for good. A lot of what I learned from my dad's business is really the great the tenacity to, you know, get your hands dirty. And even today, we actually value this trade a lot in our company. Today, we have 15 stores in four countries, Singapore, Australia, Malaysia and Cambodia. So as the business grow, right, more and more people coming in, I realise I struggle uh, with aligning the company in the same vision, in the same way that we communicated. Good people are leaving. That's when we actually thought of what was these values that I actually maybe unintentionally or you know subconsciously looked for. It's really about solving problem using empathy, trying to think from the user's point of view. Putting a structural approach or a systematic way of um, you know, getting that feedback and being agile and changing along the way to become better. From the hiring process, I realised that we need to create a structure from getting them into the company. So I wanted to create a very simple way of onboarding to learn the values and culture of the company, also learn about the products. We always had a training process. We always had product training. We always have sales training, but to me, it wasn't very effective. We already had a training manual, right, in the past, but it was like paragraphs, and it was words, it was like an essay like that, you know. I myself can't even read that book. I cannot expect my employees to do that. So we worked with Enterprise Singapore and IDXTO to create a onboarding training manual that is very visual. It's very easy to understand. Also, we wanted to gamify it. So we had all these training cards, right? These game cards with different customer profiles, how we treat different customer profiles with different personas differently. It's a very structural approach, and I think design thinking helps with that process of being intuitive and being consistent throughout in a corporate context. In Australia, right, where retail 
are, are seen as professionals. Whereas here, maybe it might not be a very attractive job. Therefore, the confidence that they had was lower, lah, right? And I felt like that doesn't have to be the case. Lah. I was trying to set a vision for my company and I needed someone to facilitate that. Right? So I hired someone who, being a behavioral scientist, reflecting the values that I wanted and also coach my people. Lah. How do we add value into our employees, right? So I think it starts from us, the leaders, empathizing in our staff on the ground first or our employees first and using that approach to redesign service culture in our company. After going through this you know, design thinking process, it has significantly improved uh, their confidence level, uh, their customer service. Having more feedbacks from our customers, writing in uh, personally with testimonials of how they have been served, right? And never before in the past few years, We've never had that kind of feedback. Obviously, something is improving. Obviously, we see the improvement in our staff. Even personally, when I walk into the staff, I can feel the confidence that they have. I always believe in you know, being on the ground to experience the problems and find ways to solve it. Lah. It's okay to keep changing. It's okay to keep improving and not be complacent. I never thought that selling suits in Singapore could actually work. Running a business in Singapore is honestly very tough. You really need to have the passion for it. And sometimes your capacity runs out. More importantly is what keeps you going. Having new things to learn and you know constantly overcoming together with the team and seeing the team grow. Whenever I feel like I'm giving up, I stay positive and being grateful in this, uh, having all these experiences that I have and having the team that I have.